Let's dig on in. Hello, Explorers. I'm back in my hometown of Cleveland, Ohio. And this weekend, I'm going to take you on a tour, a food tour of some of the best places to eat in Cleveland. So let's get started on this tour. But first, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when all my videos are released. Videos are released on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Time and Thursdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And on my channel, I'll talk about all things travel and some photography. Now let's head into our first stop, which is Mally's Chocolate. Welcome to Mally's Chocolates. This is the Mally's Chocolates location in Brook Park. It is located at 13400 Brook Park Road in Cleveland, Ohio, and it's fairly close to Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. But there are, I believe, 21 or 22 other locations in the Cleveland area where you can look at chocolates and buy some. Mally's Chocolates has been in business and it is a family business since 1935. It was founded during the Great Depression by Albert Mike Malley, who aspired to achieve his version of the American dream, to own his own chocolate making business. But today, Malley's Chocolates is a progressive company, proud of its place in the community, and more than eight decades, it has been part of it. So you can definitely indulge in this wonderful chocolate while in Cleveland. As you can see, there was plenty of things to choose from in here. All right, I am back from getting my Mally's chocolate. They had a lot in there. Time to eat. Ooh, milk chocolate. Oh, can't, I was gonna break off a piece. Mm -hmm. That's tasty. <laughs> okay, we are now at the second spot on our food tour, which is Honey Hut ice cream. I can't wait. Let's go. Welcome to Honey Hut. Honey Hut Ice Cream opened its first location in the old Brooklyn neighborhood of Cleveland back in 1974 by Frank Page and his family. We are at the original Honey Hut Ice Cream location in old Brooklyn neighborhood of Cleveland, which is located at 4674 State Road in Cleveland, Ohio. But they do have four other locations if this one is not convenient to you. Mm. This ice cream is delicious. I decided to get my classic ice cream of vanilla ice cream with sprinkles so I can compare it to tastes of other ice creams that I love. But at this location, they do have a full menu from frozen dessert treats to smoothies, twisters, hand dipped old fashioned milkshakes and malts, hand dipped pints and quarts and specialty sundaes. So there's a lot to choose from at Honey Hut Ice Cream. So now we're going to head to Slimans Tavern. Um, the original Slimans is in downtown Cleveland, but it is closed early because of, you know, the pandemic. So they have limited hours. So we're gonna go to Slimans Tavern and get corned beef. So let's go inside. As I mentioned, the Slimans Deli in downtown Cleveland is on limited hours due to the pandemic, open from 8 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. And that original location is located at 3106 St. Clair Avenue in Cleveland, Ohio. They actually have on their website that President Bush actually visited here when he went to visit Cleveland while he was president. But we are at the Independence location. Okay, since we're eating at so many places this weekend, we're doing a lot of takeout orders. So, 
place it online and it's already ready to go. Yay! The Independence location is located at 6901 Rockside Road, Independence, Ohio. And they also have two other locations. And these three locations, these satellite locations, are taverns. And they are continuing the legacy of Slimans. And Slimans is a Cleveland staple, which has been in business since 1964. Look at this huge corned beef sandwich. Let's dig on in. Okay, for the last stop today, we're headed to yours truly. I haven't been here in a long time, but I'm excited for some not so fries. And there's multiple locations for yours truly. And they have a very extensive menu. So let's go in and pick up our to-go order. Yours truly was opened by four siblings of the Shibley family in 1981 at this location in Beachwood, Ohio, which is a suburb of Cleveland. This location is very small. So if you come during a high volume time, it may take you a long time to get seated. And the parking lot is quite small. So plan ahead and make sure you get there at a reasonable time so you don't have to wait that long. Now let's go look at this food. I ordered not so fries. I used to eat these way back in the day because yours truly does have multiple locations where some of the locations are quite big so you don't have to worry about a wait like at this restaurant. You may still have a wait, but Used to go to yours truly back in the day, and I love these not so fries. They are so good. I ended up eating these for dinner that evening, and I got a side salad to go with it to kind of flush down some of the things that I had to eat today. Hi, bon appetit. Okay, a food video in Cleveland would not be complete without my best friend's restaurant in downtown Cleveland, or should I say cafe. So let's take a break with Chef Mel. Hi, I'm Chef Mel, owner of The Break Room Cafe. We are at Hidden Gym right here inside the Carl B. Stokes Public Utilities Building. And what I mean by Hidden Gym, come follow me. Welcome to the cafe, you guys. We are now inside the Break Room Cafe. And if you want to visit this cafe, since it is located in a downtown Cleveland governmental building, you have to enter through the circle doors at the employee entrance and then check in with security. And of course, you know, right now we're in a pandemic, so you have to get your temperature check and then you follow the arrows to the cafe. Very easy, very simple to get to the cafe. And it is one way in and one way out. And just look at all of this amazing food that she is showing here in this video. They also have catering services. And if you are interested in getting catering services, I will leave the email address and phone number down below for you to reach out to them because she's my best friend and I've had her food for forever. And so I may be biased, but I know I'm not wrong. Her food is amazing. She catered my 30th birthday. I've had several food items from the cafe well worth a visit if you are in the Cleveland area. Okay, we're on day two of our food tour and today we're going to Barona's Bakery because they have the best cassada cakes. And I realized when moving out of Cleveland, no one knows what a cassada cake is. And I finally found a place in Atlanta that did cassada cakes, but it was not 
It wasn't good. So let's go pick up our cake. Verona's Bakery is located at 15842 Libby Road in Maple Heights, Ohio. Maple Heights is a suburb of Cleveland. The Barona and Terrazzo families have been proudly serving the Cleveland area since 1949. And their specialty cakes are the Casada cake, which is their signature cake and a favorite, strawberry whipped cream cake, chocolate cake with whipped cream, German chocolate, banana nut, carrot cake, Italian ribbon cake, and date nut cake. If you want to order a specialty cake, you have to order by phone at 216-662-8383, but you can go in and pick up some of these beautiful treats as you see here, such as cookies, brownies, and cupcakes, which you don't have to order in advance. That looks good. I'm not going to close this whole way, but I can't put it Okay. Yeah, you see. Now, just looking because it has a man. There's a limit of six per customer. Oh. On per protocol. All of our $50. We picked up all these things for our family gathering the next day. So, as you can see, now we're in the cake and eating it. And I love cassata cake. So, I truly enjoyed. Okay, Explorers, we're now at our next stop, which is Kim's Wings. And unfortunately, I have never eaten here, but I've heard so many great reviews about Kim's Wings. So we're about to go in and pick up the wings. We're actually having a barbecue tomorrow with family, and we're gonna get wings for the family. So I'm gonna take one for my taste, taste test. But can't wait to try one out. Kim's Wings, who has coined the queen of wings, honey, has been in business since 1975. This location is located at 14909 St. Clair Avenue in Cleveland, Ohio. And also there is a second location in Euclid, Ohio. Kim's has been treating people like family with homestyle quality foods, specializing in barbecue sauce, wings, ribs, mac and cheese, and so much more. And look at it smoking it up on the barbecue back there. I must say, Kim's wings did not disappoint, y'all, did not disappoint. This was my favorite stop on this food tour, and I'm so mad I haven't had Kim's wings before this moment, but it was definitely well worth the wait. I actually froze some to bring back to Atlanta. That's how good it was. Welcome to one of Cleveland's hidden gems, which is Mount Pleasant Barbecue. Mount Pleasant Barbecue is located at 12725 Kinsman Road in Cleveland, Ohio. I went here for a Polish boy. So if you caught Man vs. Food a long time ago, the place to get Polish boys in Cleveland was at Hot Sauce Williams. But unfortunately, our Hot Sauce Williams went out of business in 2019 when the owner passed away. So I went on a search for Polish boys. I asked my friend, what is a good place for Polish boys now in Cleveland? And she said, Mount Pleasant Barbecue because they actually have turkey Polish boys. Most Polish boys you're gonna find are gonna be beef or pork. So you can try other places like Whitmore's and there's several other places to get Polish boys. But Polish boys are gonna be a sausage with coleslaw topped with fries and some sauce. So look at this Polish boy here. Just look at it. Now be prepared, it may be a little greasy because of all the things that are on there, but I prefer the turkey because I don't mess with beef and I really don't want to digest pork. And it was definitely tasty.
If anything that I mentioned wasn't your cup of tea, there is Cleveland homemade pizza at Rascal House. There are five locations throughout the greater Cleveland area. This location is located in University Heights, but their main location is located at 1836 Euclid Avenue. So check out Rascal House if you would like some pizza. And if you're looking for some soul food, definitely check out Zanzibar. They have three locations, one in Euclid, this one, which is at Shaker Square, and one in downtown Cleveland. And definitely check out their appetizer of their version of egg rolls, which is the Soul Rolls. Okay, explorers, I hope you enjoyed this food tour in Cleveland, Ohio. It's some of my favorite food places with some desserts, some sweets, some meat. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're ever in Cleveland, you check out one of these restaurants or bakers. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave them down below. I'll be glad to answer them or lead you in the right direction. And don't forget to share this video with your friends, family, and your social media networks. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are.